Recalling that slope equals rise over run, and that real graphs typically have units involved, units on the y-axis, and typically different units on the x-axis, the slope, rise over run, is a rate. So let's look at this example. This is the graph of a car's distance in kilometers versus the car's time of travel in hours. So the slope would be rise over run, and let's pick two points. Here are two points right on intersections, so easy to read. And we can make our triangle. The rise is here, and we see that we're going from 0 to 80, or a rise of 80 kilometers. And the run is here, 0 to 4, or 4 hours. So we plug these into our slope equation. 80 kilometers over 4 hours. To make it a unit rate, we can divide them out. 80 divided by 4 is 20. But we remember our units, kilometers on top and hours on the bottom, so the units of our slope, kilometers per hour, should look familiar. It's the speed of the car. If the slope was bigger, it would have a faster speed, which makes sense. It's getting to the 80 kilometers in less time. If the slope was smaller, it would have a smaller speed. It would take longer to get to that same distance. So, whenever you look at a graph, consider the slope. You think rise over run, and then look at the resulting units. The rise, or the y-axis units on the top, and the run, or the x-axis units on the bottom. And you'll have your units of the slope which can tell you an awful lot about a graph.